Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started guys, please subscribe if you are new here with the notification bell on. We're on the road to 158,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe and join the fam. But guys, what is going on and welcome back to another spooky Saturday. And today we're going to be talking about another spooky, scary creepy story. I'm not really sure why I just hyped it up that much. I mean, it's no scarier than any other video that I ever make. But anyway, guys, this is a story called The Red Dress or The Girl in the Red Dress. And so The Girl in the Red Dress is a story about a little girl who is locked away in her room by her grandma who always tells her that she is bad. So the story is about this little girl whose mom has passed away. And the little girl knows that her mom is in heaven because that's what her grandma tells her. But the little girl spends a lot of time locked away in her room because the grandma says she is bad. The girl, however, still remembers her mom and she remembers how she looked, how she used to smell and everything like that. She still remembers her long black hair, her dark eyes, her bright red lips, and her beautiful pearly white teeth. The mom had a red dress which is still locked away in her wardrobe in her bedroom. And this red dress still smells like her. So every now and then, this little girl goes and finds the key to this room because the grandma locks the mom's bedroom and hides the key. But the little girl knows where the grandma hides this key. So whenever the grandma's sleeping or taking a nap or whatever, the little girl would go and take this key, let herself into her mom's old bedroom, and she will go to the, war the wardrobe or the closet and take down the red dress. And she would just sit there and smell it. Now this little girl had a friend from across the street, a neighbor, who was also a little girl and her name was Mary Ann. She comes over to the girl's house quite a lot and they play together. They play dolls and they play, you know, kids games, hide and seek or whatever. But then this one day, Mary Ann is over at her house and the little girl says to her, hey, why don't we play dress up? So the little girl waited until her grandma was asleep and then she snuck the key, took it to the bedroom and unlocked her mom's bedroom. And then she went in there with Mary Ann and it was so dark in there that they could hardly see. This is where my mommy lives, she said to Mary Ann. But you don't have a mommy, said Mary Ann. And this really upset the little girl. So the little girl opened up the closet and took out this red dress and she showed it to her. This is my mommy's dress. But then Mary Ann turned around and said, ew, it stinks. And this really upset the little girl even more. No, it doesn't, she said to Mary Ann. It smells like flowers. But then Mary Ann responded, no, it doesn't. It smells like dead things. The girl was increasingly getting more and more angry at Mary Ann. And then Mary Ann pointed at a picture on the wall and said, who's that? And that's when the girl said, that's my mommy. Isn't she beautiful? She said to Mary Ann. But then Mary Ann turned around and said, ew, no, she's ugly. Her eyes are creepy and she has weird teeth. This made the girl even more angry. No, she hasn't. She's the most beautiful girl in the world. The girl replied to Mary Ann. But then Mary Ann turned around and said, she looks like a dead thing. Now this really pushed the little girl over the edge. This was her tipping point. But then after that, everything suddenly became black for the little girl. She can't remember what happens next. All she remembers was that she heard the sound of Mary Ann screaming, blood curdling screams. All she remembers was that it was dark and she couldn't see. And the only thing she could hear was Mary screaming. Then the next thing she remembers is her grandma yelling at her. The grandma was really rough with her and the grandma was crying and she spanked the little girl and she yelled at her and she took the red dress off of her and put it back in the closet. That's when the grandma took a washcloth, washed the blood off her face, the little girl, and then she grabbed the little girl by her hand, took her back to her bedroom, threw her in there and locked the door, telling her how bad she was. And then after the grandma locked the bedroom door, the little girl went over to the window and looked outside. And that's when she saw her grandma taking a shovel and digging a hole in the backyard. And then she put something in the hole and started to bury it. 
and the little girl said to herself, I must have done something really bad. Wow, now that is a pretty weird story. I really didn't, I couldn't understand parts of it, um, especially the end. I'm getting the, uh, uh, the impression that the little girl killed Mary Ann, and so now the grandma's burying her because the little girl was increasingly getting more and more pissed off with Mary Ann's comments about her mother. So now I feel like the little girl finally snapped and then killed the little girl in the darkness of the bedroom, or she maybe like s sort of went into like, she blacked it out and just went in like a fit of rage and then killed this little Mary Ann. Um, and then the grandma is like kind of covering for the little girl. So she takes the, takes Mary Ann and buries her in the backyard, but she locks the little girl in her bedroom and tells her like, you were bad. But then this raises the question, did the little girl kill the mom too? Because why, at, even at the beginning of the story, why was the grandma, um, like, hitting on this kid, hitting on her and, like, locking her away in her room and always telling her how bad she is? Um, so it kind of implies that, you know, the little girl killed Mary Ann at the end. Um, and so it's now got me thinking, did this little girl also kill her mom? Or because they were in the mom's room, um, maybe this little Mary Ann with her comments about the mother kind of made the mother's ghost attack and kill her i don't know i don't know i feel like it's more of the first one i feel like the little girl killed marianne and i feel like there's a possibility that the little girl also killed her own mother but guys let me know in the comment section what do you think happened here that is question of the day do you think the little girl killed her mom or and and mary ann or do you think it was the ghost of the mom that killed the little girl let me know in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like on it guys i would really appreciate that and remember the most important thing of all chase your dreams keep on fighting don't let anybody bring you down and i'll see you right back here tomorrow for another video peace out guys Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.